Konnichiwa, me and this is and you're watching Pukkikos. Today's 10 minute first person video is going to be on a Wii game, and that is Corolla. That's fine. <laughs> it's one of those words that's hard to say. I don't know why. <laughs> Colorful journey. Oh, sometimes there's just certain words you just can't say. Anyway, movie dot. <laughs> so, this is a um, coloring adventure. All right. Let's see, this is going to be like uh, the blob or different. Can't wait to try. And uh, this one only uses the wand, so there's no nunchuck required. As always, 10 minutes to play the game. First, I'm playing a mobile version of, and I can't skip anything. Let's get that timer started. Timer's been started, and new game. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, uh, wow. Does that actually mean anything? We'll go to intermediate, yes. Now let's say pretty quickly. It's almost time for twins Philip and Violet's birthday party. They can hardly wait to see the colors full streamers, bright shiny balloons, glowing candles, and fest of wrapping paper at the party. When the big day arrives, though, they are no decorations, no wrapped presents, no cake, because their parents hate them. Everybody despises them. Oh, sorry. I'm not. That wasn't the room there. Sorry. Moving on. I said Violet finds a very large coloring book. Let's see. Mysterified. That's not a word. <laughs> Any movie? <laughs> I can't read today. She opens the book and travels to Corolla Land. Her faithful dog Spark comes with her just because they need something else besides her. Uh, the two friends discover that they are standing in the middle of a forest. And they all brutally eaten by bear. I mean, but something is wrong. Colors seem to be missing. Welcome to Cruella and Colorful Journey. I'm an owl that speaks because Zelda made it a staple in games. It's not Grant. Each level has its own door. Choose a door using the pointer. Doors will be unlocked as a game plays on. The middle door takes you to the playground. If you would like to play the tutorial, select the floating question mark. I'm going to skip the tutorial this time. Violet and Spot explore the forest, and soon they meet Mrs. Owl. Woo hoo! The great child who has been prophesied has come to save us. Mrs. Owl's flooded among the branches of the trees, watching Violet very carefully with her big round eyes before she swoops down and says hello. Then Miss Owl hoots. The colours are all disappearing from the forest, says Mrs. Owl. Something sneaked into the woods at night and steals them. Most of the animals don't know what is responsible for this, but luckily Mrs. Owl can see them at night, because she's the only animal that lives in the forest that can see in the dark. Right. Moving on. Her big round eyes and excellent vision. There are goblins. <laughs> they are stealing all the color from the forest and putting them into color pots. Why? That makes. Okay, moving on. The goblins hide the color pots in the forest uh, to be gathered up later. Please help us find the color pots and return color to the forest, Violet, Mrs. Owl pleads. What the heck did I just do? Congratulations! You just picked up your first crown! Only 63 more to go! Because we're using the expensive crown box. No, no, no!
Okay. It's just green. Okay. So basically it's a escort quest. Huh. There's no one expecting that. I just killed Smart! That's <laughs> Oh man. I hate you, lass. It's not... This is hard. And she's an idiot. Wow! And I got spot stuck. No! Go the other way! No, go the other way. Come on, I made it a freaking climb. This way, this way. Okay, this is going to get all my nerves. <gasps> you are stupid. Die, dog. You're a bad influence on her. She's unable to perform the duties that she needs to do to beat the game. Screw it, I can't get it. No! 
Whoa! That is way too hard for what it needs to be. So, to understand what I think I'm doing is I'm supposed to color the things in the back to regenerate my crowns. But because it's an escort quest, escorting stupids, then if she dies because she's too stupid not to walk forward then I have a limited li I have a limited amount of lives which makes the game practically impossible to do because I also have to color everything collect everything and there's not enough time to draw something perfect because she will either climb it perfectly with no problem or she won't do anything at all and just turn around yeah, no. Clever idea, but you have way, way, way too much going on in the background for me to be able to actually enjoy this. I mean, I enjoyed the game Rockwell's Modern Life and Eek the Cat, where we have to escort and use items to get people to do stuff. Very hard games, and it works good. But... I mean, you can even use Earthworm Jim and the Peter Pups level as a good example, too. You know, it, it works because there's not a lot going in the background. So you're just trying to do things. Now, I don't mind having to create um, things. I, I played several games like this where you have to create items. However, because the only way, you know, because of how we have to refill our crown which creates everything makes it really hard only because if you don't draw just right at the right angle they will not move and that makes it very difficult now the music's pretty generic you know generic it's what it is it's not terrible but it's it, you can enjoy it while playing the game Huh. Controls, that's... Well, that's what I've been talking about, is the controls are a little difficult. And that does kind of make the game a little unplayable at times, just because, you know, your controls are pretty much there, but since you have to use A button to uh, color and create, that's a problem. It should have been nunchuck in there. That way we have Z and C as to select if we were going to use uh, color background or create. Because, yeah, A, A is used for um, everything and B is used for erase. So, yeah, that kind of makes it a little hard. So, do I recommend this game? For those of you who are looking for a challenging escort game which involves coloring, I'd say go for it. Because this is not going to be an easy game. For those of you who don't like difficult and bizarre controls, stay away from this. As for me, I like the idea. Brilliant. I probably won't play this one as very much just because I can already tell I'm going to have issues with stupids. Um, escorts are horrible. <laughs> They're fun games, but why? Oh, man. Other than that, yeah, it's one of those that you'd have to try it out for yourself, see if you enjoy this type of thing. 
Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is T. Sakura saying ciao and sayonara. <laughs>